Hey folks, Carl Drake here, ATA 2014. As a whitetail hunter, there's two things I look for in a tree stand that are important to me. One is comfort and the other is safety. And I'm proud to announce that I have partnered up with a company this year that provides pro to you. And that's Hawk Tree Stands. I'll tell you what, we're going to have some of their staff walk through the tree stand line and tell you all about them here. I'm Scott Lee of Hawk Hunting. Uh, debut at the ATA show in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we're going to walk through some of our hang on stands. First and foremost, on all the stands, um, we have focused on comfort. Here we're looking at the kickback lounger from Hawk. Uh, it all starts with this uh, comfort mesh seat system. Um, this is really popular. It's just built off of like, um, like a patio chair or something, Carl, you might have your beach chair that you sit out and rest in all time. We call it kickback because with the footrest it sticks out from the platform and the, the comfort of this mesh, you just kickback. Oh, it's a great looking stand. What, what is our weight uh, limit on these stands, Scott? All of our stands at Hawk are 300 pound weight limit. Um, one of the things that we do that no other manufacturer is really doing is is welding every contact point on our mesh to the platform so it becomes one solid, noise-free, squeak-free platform. Um, a lot of other companies might weld a few spots through the mesh, but if you have 200 pounds stepping here or there, the stand wants to, to squeak or pop. And, um, that's kind of just a little thing that we do, but all the little things add up when you understand. As you know, one little noise can lead to a Oh, it can ruin a hunt, especially when you got a big white tail out in front of you. So definitely quiet, trees distant. Speaking of quiet, we use nylon bushings and washers, self-lubricating nylon washers and bushings. So uh, as you fold the seat, the footrest, um, move it in the stand, you don't get any squeaking. In addition, silence, we have a really unique, and we'll get a close-up shot of that, really unique um, over-molded J-hook. So, um, you know, when you, if you're using your stand portable situation, you know, when you get out in the woods or on a climbing stick, you, you put that J-hook on the stand to attach it, it's going to be silent. It's a great looking stand, Scott. What are we looking at? What's the stand going to cost that the hunter? Well, that's the other great thing. Um, all of our stands are, are built for the average hardworking hunter, so the stand retails for $139. Only $139? Yeah, oh, exactly. What, what a great stand. What a great stand. Scott, this stand right here is like a perfect portable stand for a gun hunter. What do we have here? Uh, we call this the Combat Lounger. Uh, first and foremost, you see the three-inch memory foam seat. Um, it has uh, a, a top layer of memory foam, multi-layer, so you have the, the you know, forming comfort of memory foam, but then you have enough support here in the middle to keep your butt from ever sinking down and hitting the steel on the platform seat. Um, the key with this stand is all about comfort. A guy that wants to sit out, especially gun hunters, uh, we're the first company to include gun and bow holders and the rest. We were sitting there thinking when we developed this stand, I'm thinking, you know, when I take a gun up in a stand, you typically have it resting on your leg, the barrel's halfway pointing at your face. It's just not a real comfortable situation for me. If you have your gun on your lap, constantly, you know, after time, it might be okay for a half an hour, but if, you know, with the weather and, and whatnot, and you're getting a little restless, the gun might be sliding down. So just a simple feature like this allows you to just rest and hunt and comfort. Right. Uh, that's what this stand's all about. We'll take a close-up look here. Um, also on the shooting rail, we've got the built-in accessory hook, so if you want to hang your grunt calls, your um, you know your, your rattling antlers, whatever you might have, it's, it's very easy to do that. And we'll take a close up here, look at the comfort molded armrest. It's, it's not a simple, it's a very clean, comfortable, quiet armrest. It's not the foam that you have with, um, you know, camel wrapped around it with Velcro, which can make noise, especially on your arms. It's one thing to have foam out here, you know, you just have a resting point, but when you're shifting around your stand, you don't want that Velcro covered armrest to make any noise. Sure. All right, Scott, as me as a white hunter, my main stick when it comes to three stands are the portable hang ons. It looks like we've got two great different hang ons here. Can you tell me the difference in each one of them? Okay, what we've got here is our combat series, which is our steel series. You've got an extra large platform and then a you know medium large platform size. Uh, these retail from $79 to $99 range. So. Even though you know all these features that we're going to show you, they're still affordable. Oh, absolutely, and um, that's where the consumer wants to be. So when you're taking a look at the Combat Series, and both of these series are basically the same platform. It's just our Helium Series, just, just there behind you is the aluminum. Okay. So those are ultra lightweight. Those come in at uh, 10 pounds and 12 pounds respectively for the large and extra large size. The other features are pretty similar. Um, 
on the on the platform here, we've all every contact point, which we've, we've covered a couple times today, looking at some of these other stands. But it's important for the you know the hunter to really understand when they think of hawk that we have a solid one piece platform because even though you you look at platforms, um, a lot of competitors you know will use you know, like one inch square tubing. Our outside tubing is it's, you know almost twice as sturdy, twice as big on the oval tubing. And then when we weld each contact point, that makes a big difference. Um, we use oversized cables on all of our stands, um, so you don't have to worry about over the years, you know, problems with looking at a small cable, crimping issues, stuff like that. Memory foam seats and all hawk stands, that is that is the talk of the show, Carl. Uh, it's comfortable. I've already sit in several of the stands, and I'll tell you what, I'm hooked. Uh, it, like you said, comfort is, is Comfort is king. Of course, yeah. You know, when you're sitting in the stand for whether it's an hour, even if it's only an hour or two, you know, after 30 minutes with a bad stand, you're feeling it. And you know, a, a big key to to hunting sometimes is the element of surprise. You you want to see the deer. You want to be able to take the shot before they see you. And if you're restless in the stand, moving around, not comfortable, the odds are against you. Absolutely. So, um, even down to the fine detail on these stands. We've got extruded teeth in the back that are extremely sharp, so when you can this stand, set this stand up, it's going to dig into the tree tight. Okay, we've got now the hunter who doesn't like to move a stand much, or for, maybe for the older hunter who just isn't capable of it, you have a series of ladder stands. Now let's go through this one. Yeah, here's our ladder stand series. Like you said, ladder stands are extremely popular. Um, according to the numbers, like, you know, 60, 70% of people prefer ladder stands, buying ladder stands, because you don't have to worry about climbing straight up a tree. Ladder, um, you know, you kind of climb up on an angle. We just made it a whole lot easier and safer to get up in the stand. Uh, we introduced Safe Tread here at the show, AT show. Uh, basically, it's, uh, we reference like commercial grade anti slip steps that are used out there. So you've got raised grip in each step, uh, about twice the surface area to step on, so you're a lot more comfortable going up. I mean, as you know, you're hunting out there, it's wet, it's muddy, it's snowy, and the last thing you want is your boots slipping around on the ladder rung when you're climbing up. Not only that, when you get to the top of the ladder, we're the first and only company that includes grab handles, so now you can pull yourself up into the stand, you feel safe about it, get up there on the platform. And to top it all off, look at our seats. Um, we do include a model, the 19-foot escape, that's got our, our kind of exciting memory foam, comfortable seating. Uh, but on our other two models, the 19-foot contender and the 22-foot destination, we've got what we call a comfort mesh. Extremely comfortable, flip, still flips up out of your way. Um, you can sit in these stands all day long. Looks like you're hitting everything for all types of hunters. That's, that's what's really impressive. And like I said, comfort and safety you guys have integrated into your stands, and I think Hawk stands is definitely going to be a game changer. Well, it's just, you know, it's little things. So, heavy duty oval tubing, um, you know, right up above it there for the gun hunter. You know, you can put your gun in this place to safely put your gun when you're hunting so you can sit back and relax. Integrated hooks um, are, you know, on, on the tip here, you can see our nice molded foam armrest. So we've kind of, being hunters ourselves and, and really paying attention to detail, it's evident that, you know, you can, you can enjoy your time to stand. Absolutely. Very impressive. All right, this here is our Warbird. The first thing you notice is how it folds up for easy carrying. I personally like it. When you go to Duck Hunter Logs, it's not going to get in your way. It is 22 pounds. That does include two straps. It does include the footrest and these hooks to hook the straps on. It also includes the weight of the memory foam, which is a little heavier than your standard foam seat. As you can see on the memory foam, there is a solid base. You will not feel the straps sticking into your legs. We do like the latch system. The system is patent pennies. You pull out, pull the strap out, the strap is out, ready to go on the tree. Put it on in silence, pull the strap out, push it in, your latch. At the end of the night, you're not worried about being quiet. You can just push it in, and you're done. We really value our branding at Hawk. As you can see in the sleep design, we have Hawk up from above labeled all over our tree stand. As you can see on the front, we have the comfort molded armrest, which is very handy, climbing in and out of the stand. Great spot to put your knee, as well as your butt while climbing up. 
like on all of our stands, every contact point is molded, allowing virtually for one solid piece of aluminum, making it very quiet and comfortable on the stand. The folding footrest is convenient for the long sits, making you more productive in the woods. As you can see, the safety pin allows for additional safety while climbing in the tree. When you're ready to leave for the night, if there's any weight on all, this latch will not open. Another additional safety product. To get the tree stand off the tree, you must lift up and allow it to come out. If you're looking for a quiet, comfortable, and a climber that is easy to use, please check out the Warbird. Retails for $269.99. We've got a slew of Hawk accessories, every single one of them is designed from the ground up, completely new, nobody's ever seen before this show. Let's start with our, our hook series, we've got a tactical tree hook, all of our hooks are over molded with ridges for extra grip, not just a rubber dipped hook. Um, if you look at our threads, we've got an auger tip, the threads are machined sharp all the way down to the point, so when you jab this into the tree, it's going to start easy to screw in. You don't have to sit here and push extra hard and sweat getting your hook into the tree. Um, tactical tree hook, a uh, little bit oversized, but the best thing about this thing is it comes with a carabiner thread protector. You just screw the hook into this little thread protector. You have that on your backpack, wherever you want to carry it. So when you get to your stand, you're not digging for your hook in the bottom of your pack. Next step up from that, we call it jab handle. Jab handle has uh, the same auger tip sharp threads but it, the threads fold up into the handle itself um, when you get out you know easy to fit in your pocket pull out automatically locks into place strong jab handle fit it right in your hand jab that into the tree just to get you that extra start in a hardwood tree so that's our hook series hawk accessories moving on to our bow arms we call this the extendable bow arm um, you can go right and left with this thing, in and out, whatever length you want. The hook swivels 360 degrees for your bow grip angle. Um, when you fold it all up, the hook folds in, that folds in, that can fit in a cargo pocket. Um, patent pending feature of this is typical bow holders have problems spinning in the tree when you put your bow weight on. Um, you know, you, you can have situations where your bow arm falls. This is a cam, cam over lever, so when you screw it into the tree, you simply cam that lever over, put your bow on, it holds the weight. Extendable bow arm. This is our three arm go gadget bow arm. Uh, first access right and left, but the, the last arm here is adjustable up and down. So now, when you, a lot of times, I've used these bow arms in the tree, you get them in, you sit down and your bow is either too high, too low. So this third arm here allows you to adjust it not only for your own preference, but if you have other people in your family, friends, hunting your stand, they can adjust it. The hook rotates 360 degrees. How I teach people how to hunt with this thing, which is really great, is typical bow arms you have to put right or left. So if you have action, Sometimes the action comes out of nowhere and you've got a shot opportunity. You see guys, even on TV, they're reaching left, right. That's a lot of movement and wasted time and focus. You know, you should be focusing on what's going on. So I teach people with our Go Gadget bow arm. I hunt in the stand just like this. When, when activity pops up out of nowhere, my bow grip, everything's right in front of me. I don't have to even swing the bow arm out of the way. You're typically shooting down. Um, Go Gadget. Bow arm by Hawk. Includes accessory hooks. Also has an anti spin bracket. Use an extra tactical tree hook, screw that in there. Now you don't have any issues with the bow arm spinning. This is a, a hoist rope. We call it the twist up hoist rope. It's, uh, it's not like any other hoist rope you've ever um, you know, seen. Typically, people don't stand here and talk about a, a simple rope that you, you hoist gear up with. Um, I've typically, a lot of manufacturers have started including carabiners on uh, their hoist ropes. The problem with that is a lot of people resort to hooking the carabiner right to the cam, which really can affect your bow performance, maybe cause you know, your cam to lean one way or the other or torque it a little bit. Uh, if you try to wrap your rope around with the cam on the limbs, you make a bunch of noise. Um, so the twist up hoist rope, first of all, it's like a heavy duty gear tie system. In your pocket, you use the gear tie to twist up the rope. So every time you pull it out, your rope's 
twist it up, you know, exactly organized the way you had it. Simply no, no twists and knots in your rope. Take the gear tie. Simply wrap that quietly around your limbs. Hoist up and down. That's what we call the twist up hoist rope from Hawk. This is Scott with Hawk Hunting here at the ATA show 2014 in Nashville. Introducing our climbing stick line. We've got a bunch of different options here. Starting with our ranger sticks. Um, oval tubing, uh, angled steps with gridded surface. Allows you to get more of your foot on the, on the step at a price point. Uh, we'll probably look at these in the marketplace between $49 and $59. We'll step up introducing our traction series climbing stick. It still has the oval tubing, but it's got our unique exclusive traction steps. So your foot, uh, it's not too hard on your hand, but your foot won't slip with the raised edges. Um, those are both steel sticks. This one, MSRP of $69.99. Where it really gets good for the hardcore hunter that likes to pack in is first and foremost is our Helium series. Uh, this is quite possibly the lightest stick on the market, uh, coming in at 2.8 pounds. Uh, they nest together, great for, for packing in and out. Um, again, it's got a traction style step with raised edges, so even though it's lightweight and, and compact, um, the, you know, your foot surface is still going to be stable. Uh, the stick, the steps fold right up into itself, so you've got a slim, compact package. This is helium. Suggested retail $99.99. In our flagship series, what we've got here is what we call Razor. Get the Razor name because they're so thin. Um, when you go to pack them up on the stand, now instead of having sticks, when you're packing out, instead of having sticks that are sticking way out from the back of the stand, maybe catching on branches and whatnot, you've got a razor thin platform system. What's also unique about the Razor is, is although they're lightweight and thin, when you fold out the steps, the steps come out on an angle, a little bit oversized traction surface, You've got the dual rails going up. It's one of the most substantial, safest feeling climbing systems out there, so lightweight and safe. Um, that's pretty much it for our climbing sticks for 2014. Um, hope you enjoyed them. Visit us at hawkhunting.com.